Welcome all. In this video, we will explain how to do FFS process to the employees. To add employee in the resign list, you can go to employees, click on manage exits, click on this plus mark, select the name, update the resignation date, update the last working day. If there is any remarks, you can update it here. Here you can select the reason for exit. If there is any ESI remarks, you can select it. Pay process type, you can select pay block, stop pay process or current month FFS. On selecting pay block, pay block will hold the calculated salary from the resignation month and in the FFS process, the salaries which are kept on hold would reflect as withheld amount. On selecting stop pay process, in case if you have stopped the payment for previous month that is from resignation month and want the same to be processed along with FFS, you can select stop pay process. Stop pay process. Once FFS is processed, the previous month's salary which was stopped will be calculated as arrears. On selecting current month FFS, the updated resignation and last working day falls in the same month. If the updated resignation and last working day falls in the same month, you can select current month settlement. After selecting these details, you can save it. Once you save, you will receive a message saved successfully. Post which Select the month for which you had added the employee. Click on the drop down next to edit. Click on process. In this screen, you will find the de details of all of the employees which you have updated. The resignation details. Here you can find the information related to IT declaration audit details, loan pending details, leave encashment, leave request pending, comp of pending, reimbursement pending, FBP claims pending if any. You can update the LOP days here. If there is any LOP should be captured along with the FFS. LOP days will be fetched automatically if there are leaves applied in LMS and biometric in this field. And it can also be entered manually over here. Then coming to the leave encashment. Automatically earned leave data will get fetched from the leave, and leave management module. And leave encashment amount would be calculated if you are using leave management system. Encashment amount will get calculated based on the formula entered in the leave encashment component and leave configuration. Note, system also allows overriding the leave encashment amount and leave encashment component should be created. Only then the amount will appear in the FFS report. Coming to loan, actual pending amount. Employees pending loan amount will get displayed in this field if there is any loan pending details. If there is any deduction amount, in this field the user can enter or override the loan amount to be deducted. If there is any loan created, you will also find a deduction column over here. Next coming to FBP unclaimed. FBP actual unclaimed amount, employees FBP unclaimed amount will get displayed in this field. FBP unclaimed amount can also be overrided or can be entered the amount manually if you have opted for the FBP module. Note unclaimed component should be created then only the amount will be appearing in the FFS report. Notice pay or recovery. You can select pay or recovery. If you select this option pay, if there is any notice period payable by the employer, you will be able to update it here. Selecting recovery, if there is any recovery from the employee, you can select recovery. Enter the notice period days directly over here. How much ever notice period the employee has to be paid or recovered in this field. System will, system will calculate actual notice amount. Note, notice pay and notice recovery component should be created. Then only the amount will appear in the FFS report. And then coming to the gratuity details. System will automatically calculate gratuity based on the employee's date of joining. Calculated years and amount can be seen in the actual gratuity period and actual gratuity amount. In this field, gratuity period and gratuity amount, you can override the amounts manually if the components are created and then only it will reflect in the FFS report. After checking all these details, click on process settlement and update if there is any variable pay amount that is has to be paid to the employee and click on next option. 
In this page, you will be able to view the preview of FFS settlement. If there is any adjustments to be made, that is the IT adjustment, you can update the figure directly. If you want your IT to be deducted as 2000, you can update it and click on apply. Then click on the report to check the FFS report. Here you will be able to find the FFS report like this with the earnings and the deduction columns. This is all about processing full and final settlement to the employees. Thank you for watching this video. Please contact our support team for further queries.